All right, hello, it's Soaring here. And uh, someone had commented on YouTube saying to um, give a tutorial on how to make a, um, a gridded workspace. So I'll show you how to do that now. Um, it's very easy. File, new. Um, I typically work with um, 60 by 60 grids. So if you get something that's multiple of 60, that works very well. So 2400 by 2400. So here I have this white grid space. I'm going to go to layer, transparency, add al alpha channel so that we can take this and remove all that to make it transparent. What I'll do is I'll usually add a second layer. So make this, um, probably just switch those. I usually leave the background layer white. Um, if you want a transparent layer, you're going to have to add the channel. So I have the background layer and this layer. This new layer will be grid. And all right. So it, you can be in any layer to do this. Just go into image, um, configure grid. Then you will have line style, set it to intersections, crosshairs, foreground color, red, spacing, set mine to 60. You can actually, if you don't want these to match up, you can click that so that you, they don't lock together. Um, their aspect ratio. Click OK. Now, it's not showing anything at the moment because you have to go to View, Show Grid, and you can see the crosshairs. And they will change relative to your zoom level, which is good. It's nice to have all these zoomed. You see here on the edge where that meets the edge of the page. And so it's on, it's on every edge right here right here. So from here, in order to create a gridded workspace um, for like working with characters and stuff like that, um, mine is a multiple, I do believe, of five. So if we take our pixel measurement, it was 400 divided by 60. We know that's 40 wide divided by five. So it's eight by eight grid space if each area is 300 by 300 pixels, which is a five by five grid area. Okay, got that so far. So I'm gonna select a five by five grid area, just like this. And I can take this and manipulate it till it meets the crosshairs. I want this to manipulate it till it reaches the edge of the page and this drag it down until it meets that edge of the page. So it's exactly um, 250 pixels wide, on, or 300 pixels wide on each side. So I can take a paint tool, and I need to be on the grid layer. I'm gonna take red and fill it in. Red, all right? The next grid area we're going to select is uh, directly adjacent to that. So create another grid area. Five wide, one, two, three, four. Five wide. Make sure you meet at the crosshair on all sides, including the top edge. I'm going to paint that blue. All right. I'm going to take my select tool and just copy and paste this. And I'm using the arrow keys to move one pixel at a time. So I'm going to paste this three times total. So in order to move one pixel to the left, oops, sorry, uh, you can just press the left arrow and then the up arrow in order to move that into the proper position. And I'm going to paste it in one more time. That final crosshair right there. Make sure everything's flush at the bottom. I'm meeting up with the crosshairs. Okay. So we're gonna take this line, we're gonna copy it, and paste it, doing the same as we did before. 
except I'm going to offset the red square because we need to create a checkerboard pattern with it. Because we offset that red square, we need to come over here and I'm just going to paste in the same block again and just move that red square over here. Now that we have these completed, I only need to paste three more times. So I select the area I need to edit, zoom into the area I would like to paste it. Make sure all the crosshairs meet up. And repeat that again. And one more time. So now we have a gridded workspace. This is a checkerboard pattern. Now, in order to uh, set this to make it a little bit easier to see on your eyes, go here to grid where it says opacity. Make sure the grid layer is selected. Just type 20 in here. And you see that there's only 20% opacity. You see in the background. And you can use that to work and uh, work with your characters. So, and if you want it to be less visible, you can make the number lower. Or you can make the number higher, which will make it more and more visible. But I put it at about 20. You create a third layer for your line art. And then you can work inside of the grid area with your, because currently it's not snapped to the grid. We can go over here to snap to grid so that all of our selection points select to the nearest grid area. You can select outside of it, but if you're within a certain range, it'll snap to the grid automatically. I can use that to click and drag to make my curves. Since this is already um, dragged straight, I can just click here, click here, drag this, do that to make this automatic loop then stroke the path with any tool that I wish. In this case I'm going to do it with the paintbrush tool and the paintbrush tool I'm going to select is going to be my calligraphy tool that I have made and just go in here and automatically work my grid lines for calligraphy. So if you if this was helpful to you, just let me know in the comments below. Okay, thanks, bye.